Sometimes a 14 inch laptop is really nice because it's portable and sometimes it's just not enough screen. Well, here is a solution. This is the X90A Black by KYY. They reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to review their dual monitor. It's kind of a triple monitor setup because you have your laptop in the middle, two on the sides. These are 14 inch models. Uh, it looks like it weighs around two kilo. Uh, so it's not gonna be super light, but it's literally two monitors plus a backlight, so that makes sense. Uh, you get L IPS screens, perfectly fine. That's good. 16 by nine, so they're gonna be uh, slightly wider. Uh, 1920 by 1080p, so as would be expected. So you may look at this monitor here and say, you know, what solution is this providing other than the fact that you get two screens? Because I mean, that's a big part. I mean, you get two screens. Uh, so if you're using your laptop, then you have three screens. That's obviously very nice. I'm just gonna bring in another one that I have here. It's a nice little screen and everything, but uh, there's a major flaw with this here. So one of the things that I find with these type monitors here, they basically, you know, they come with a folio, they fold out, whatever, is a lot of the time, you're gonna have issues with setting it up, right? So this one here, it's just a floppy little thing like that, right? So it does kind of just fall over, right? I have to kind of get it to stay, it will slide. Uh, if I'm sitting on a surface that doesn't have room for two screens, right? So like if I have a screen here and then I have the other one over here, for example, um, you know, that requires actually quite a bit of desk space because the actual footprint of both of them has to be supported. Uh, if I have any angle on my couch or something like that, that doesn't work obviously because where am I gonna put it, right? This is on my lap. This is floating. So sometimes I put it on like the arm of my chair, I guess. Like, I like this monitor here, this little one that I have here, but I find that I don't use it because it has nowhere to be, basically, right? It just kind of floats there. Um, so this one here is gonna be a really nice option for kind of getting like a full setup where you're going to have a lot of screen real estate in front of you. One of the nice things I find about them is you, um, you don't increase the footprint of your laptop. So, I mean, you have the screen set up and everything, but you don't then have this massive, massive, massive footprint on uh, on a desk or something like that. So that can be really useful for a monitor like this. Nice little fold up package. Some different instructions there. Oh, yo, you can put it in. Hmm, that's an interesting idea there. Triangle mode, I guess, if you have other people sitting around a table, that's actually a pretty good idea. I never, th I never even thought about that. If you have people sitting around a table, like you're on that screen, you can have them watching what you're doing without having to lean over your shoulder. It's kind of neat. And of course, portrait mode, I actually have to test those out. That's a really good idea. So you get your connectors. That's your USB, I guess, for drivers if it doesn't go automatically. Power, it says if needed, uh, you can hook up power. Uh, a little, uh, this is a North American plug. I don't need it right now, so it's fine. Uh, the second connector. Okay, let's get that out of there. Look at these cables to start here. Very long cable, USB-C to A, nice. Uh, that's, oops, USB-C or C to A. And then of course you have the adapter for conversion and you have your driver thing. Hmm, it has a very interesting smell to it, good smell. Like a new electronics scent, uh, kind of an intoxicating smell to get those new electronics, that's nice. That's a nice material there, is that? Yeah, that is metal. It's like, a, it's got a soft coating to it. So I actually thought it was plastic at first um, because it's got that like nice little coating on it. Um, but it has metal, that's actually a metal. That's a very nice feeling hinge there too. So that's a metal hinge there, uh, which is nice because you're not gonna want it to fall easily. It's nice and firm, but it's not difficult. It feels very well lubricated. It's perfectly tightened, I would say. So that feels, ooh, that's a nice little snap there. That feels nice. Uh, metal there, some ports in there on bottom. And so this is the proper way up, I'm guessing. Uh, that's metal there too. Uh, I was worried it was plastic actually, because I saw the pictures um, and I thought, eh, you know, it'll be lighter if it's plastic, I guess, but you know, it's gonna be a portable monitor. Metal is a good concept because it's gonna keep it in good shape. Uh, that's actually metal, it's just a nice black. Looks nice though, I like it. Yeah. Okay, so these are 16 by nine screens, so you don't get quite as much height, but it's probably fine because you're going to attach them to a laptop and you're gonna have a lot of real estate on the side. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at it. So it's got this handle here, I guess to pick it up, because it's got because it's all metal, right? So it's very sturdy. You can see that reflect on there, there's a little protection screen there. Um, I wouldn't call it heavy, but it definitely, I mean, it's metal, right? It's not plastic. Um, I recently tested another monitor kind of like this that had like a snappy thing that went on the screen. Um, and I 
think, I mean, that's fine. But one of the things is then like it does get held up, but I was a little worried about it like pinching the side of my screen. I guess it kind of depends on what you're looking for, right? Um, this one here has the kickstand on the back, right? That really sturdy kickstand. So it's just a different, probably good. Um, yeah, I'll bring it back because you can't really see. It's, there's so much screen. <laughs> it's almost funny, but it's also cool because you know, you're sitting here and you have like an, it's almost like an ultra wide and it's like curved, right? Like I could push these back if I wanted, uh, you know, I could move the box back slightly here and you know push these back further if need be. Like that's probably, hmm, for me, that's probably a good angle. And the thing is, you know, it's not like it's flat. Like it's not like, I mean, you could use it with a flat like that, for example. I would have loved to have something like this when I was an undergrad. <laughs> Even portable monitors didn't really exist back then. But something like this would have been so killer because I would have been able to sit down at my desk, go to the library or something like that, and just sit down and have so much screen in front of me to do my work. Like I could have my typing essay on the front here. I could probably have research materials over here and maybe like data over here or some YouTube or something. Man, it's just the things you kids have that we didn't. And now one thing I do want to show while I'm filming, because this is just set up for like a 14 inch laptop, for the loud, set up for a 14 inch laptop. Um, you can see here like that's basically, there's a second hinge here. So there's hinge one, hinge two. So you can see that there, right? So you can move this in. Um, it was kind of like this for the first one where it was like that, right? Kind of just the laptop was kicking it inside there, right? So now, you know, that wouldn't have been enough. That would have been hitting the side there. So now what you do is you, I guess you move it out like this here. Yeah, this is good like that. Open it up to the width that I want. And then you open up your 16 inch laptop and it's the same idea, right? Now I just have more screen. See if this one works. Oh, that, okay. Oh, this is cool. All oh, right, I didn't know that. They actually run power through these ports here. Okay. So I've tested some of these words like monitor one has to plug in, monitor two has to plug in. So you actually have dual plugs. Uh, this one, it actually runs off of that. Uh, is there something in here? Oh, it, okay, it found it. Okay, well that's that then. Can I just take it out now? I guess it just, I just plugged it in. I didn't install anything. Awesome, oops, they're in the wrong order now. So I'm guessing that's one. Isn't that cool? Okay, so just to prove my point of what I was talking about before, we're gonna kill the power here. All right, kill the power. We wait, Windows figured it out, and my laptop said, oh, it's okay, I supply power on my own, right? So if you have a laptop that doesn't supply power over USB-C only data, uh, only only uh, display, then you have to plug that into the wall. I'd say like most laptops these days, if they're newer laptops, will have display and power because portable monitors are becoming more popular. So nowadays, typically what happens is you do have display and power over USB-C. But if you're using an older laptop, sometimes you don't, and then you can just plug that into the wall. But for the rest of the video, I'm not gonna do that because my laptops don't have that issue. All kinds of settings. Uh, so brightness, we'll do that first. Brightness is turned way down. Oop, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. Brightness, turn it way up, because this is a bright screen. Oh, these are gonna get really bright, okay. What else we got in here? sRGB mode? Game mode? There's all kinds of stuff. Okay, so let's come in here and we'll go temperature. Oh, you can make it like cool, warm thing. Uh, eco mode, standard, movie, photo. What's that gonna do? Ah, oh, okay, that makes the saturation go up. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'd say game mode actually looks more like this screen. So we're gonna go game mode on this one here. Okay, we'll do one more laptop here. I'm just kind of curious as to like, you know, you plug this thing in and then you plug in the USB and it just immediately detects it, which is interesting. Let's go like that there. Yeah, so I mean, you can use this driver in here. Uh, it looks like Windows will just find it automatically. Uh, Windows 11 at least will just find it. So, But if you can't, you can use the little driver thing there. That's cool. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, I don't know, what else can, what can we test now? Uh, you can see here that right now, um, the, I guess I call it scaling is a little bit low because this is a high resolution screen in the middle, not 1080p, it's 1600p. You can come in here and for example, you can change the scaling, you know, it's 150, you can say, well, maybe 125, right? That looks good. And what, if you hold menu, it shuts off one of the screens? Hold on, hold on a second. I just figured something out. So if you hold menu, so like if you have power, it kills power to the whole thing. But I think if you hold menu, it just kills one of them. If you hold it though, 
Yeah, kills off one. That's cool. Because maybe you only want one screen. So then you can fold one back behind or something. But we'll test that in a minute so that looks good. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we'll bring up this, uh, I guess, this screen here. It's looking pretty good. I think the only spot that this doesn't have like full color range uh, is red because this is 100% DCIP. This looks like it's probably in the sRGB color space. The green's looking pretty good. Purple's looking good. This is a high resolution screen, but otherwise it's pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. This is an incredibly high level screen, by the way. So it's not a very fair comparison here. And that's, I mean, the fact that they're even comparable is means this screen's decent. All right, blue's looking good. This is a, this is a 3.2K screen, very high resolution, 100% DCI-P kind of creator screen. I think the only place that this is really not going to be you know super super into the color space is red typically when you're in the srgb color space uh, versus dcip it's usually the reds where you could notice that and this has a little bit more of a vibrant red that's because of the color space this is you know a dcip which i guess if depending on the type of color work you do can actually be oversaturated technically uh, and then the red is not going to be quite as much but you know then you come into for example greens right uh, if i can bring up that same scene Right, like they look pretty good in both cases. This is a little bit less than that, but again, high level creator screen. So it's not exactly a fair comparison. And on an essay, so this one here, you know, I'm just gonna watch some YouTube. I don't wanna do any work on that screen. That's gonna be my YouTube screen. Uh, this is gonna be the one that I'm typing up a document on. And then this one here, I'm going to look up, I don't know, websites or something. Well, oops, I can't spell, monitors. All right, and so then we come in here, here's the portable monitors, blah, blah, blah. And there's the website that we're looking at, right? KYY. Interestingly, as this is like totally not related to this video, but I see these other ones a lot on YouTube and they have really high rankings. So a lot of people are interested in these other monitors. They seem to be really good, like the brand KYY. Uh, I've actually seen them on Amazon a lot. I mean, the other thing is you could have like a data spreadsheet over here. Like maybe you have your Excel spreadsheets over here. You have the essay that you're writing. Typically you want to have your writing one in the center and then, you know, some type of other stuff on the side there. That's how you massively inc increase, you know, your productivity. So, I mean, I don't really need to do, I think, a lot more on the actual device itself in terms of testing. It seems to just do the job, right? Like, you take a 14-inch laptop or a 16-inch laptop. I showed both. This is a 14-inch here, though. Um, my biggest issue with 16 inches, with 14 inches is... Yes, it's very portable, but you don't actually get a lot of screen real estate. I like the idea of being able to set this up here, not having any uh, footprint, right? Like I don't need footprint over there. I don't need footprint over there, right? So I don't have to worry about, oh, I set this up on a desk. You know, I don't have to worry about setting it on a weird angle. It actually angles to me, which is nice. I can angle it back as needed. So, I mean, that's a really nice feature there. And I think the purpose of these is to really improve your workflow, right? It's not some like super thin, like little one like that. Like they have those two, those are more designed for, you know, just quickly toss it in a bag, like maybe set it up to the side, do some basic stuff. But if you want to seriously increase your productivity, this type of dual setup here is actually very compelling, right? They're not going to be the cheapest things in the world. I mean, they're not going to cost you, you know, like some discounted 80 bucks or something like that because uh, you're getting two screens out of them and they're actually metal. Like this is not plastic. This is a nice metal design. How they did it? Yeah, that looks cool. I guess that's how they did it. Um, yeah, I mean, because it flips around, right? So now we're in that. Like before we were going that way. Now we're going like this here. So you could set it up like this as a single monitor if you want, right? You don't have to do the dual monitor thing. You can set it up like that, right? And so then now I have a portrait style monitor, right? So you can see the mouse is over here and then now it's over here. And again, so the point of this would be if you have like long form type stuff, so like a document, right? So if you had a document, potentially you could be reading off the document or a website like this where I was scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. I really like the fact that it only has one power, right? So if you have a laptop that's a full function, meaning it supplies power and data, you don't have to plug in both monitors. You don't have to plug one into one side of the laptop, one into the other side of the laptop. You just plug it in to your laptop and you get display and power out of one. That's very useful to me. And if you don't have a full one, again, you can plug this into the wall like that and one into your laptop. So you're actually only taking one port on your laptop, technically. That's fantastic to me because 
if you have something like a MacBook, say you have a MacBook Air, they only have two ports, right? That's it. You only have two USB-C ports. One's going to be power. One's going to be like from the wall. One's going to be uh, display and that out to this monitor here. So it's really useful that that's also like that. Overall, I think it's quite nice. Um, it's not going to be for absolutely everybody. I mean, some people who are looking for like the most portable setup of all time, I mean, typically they're probably going to go for, uh, we show it on their website. Like you just have the single monitor style. It's just easy to throw it in a bag and you just take it with you and you're good to go. But I think there's going to be people who really benefit from this. People who are looking for like crazy workflow, right? You want to move to a location, sit down. You don't want to have a lot of footprint over here, right? You don't have to worry about the desk like that because it's going to sit basically as your laptop. You know, you're just a little a few inches behind the laptop is really all you need. And then you get access to your primary laptop screen and two extra screens at that. It's fantastic. I mean, if you need that kind of workflow, you're going to really appreciate it.